Many of you have asked about suturing techniques. I'm going to show you how to uh, suture a periodontal crown lengthened case using 4-0 gut suture interproximally. Now when you're suturing, you can use uh, pro proline or you can use uh, gut. I usually use plain gut just because if you use synthetic suture, you're going to have to come back and remove it. And if you, if you don't remove it fast enough, the tissue will grow over it. This is going to dissolve in four to seven days, and that's long enough. So when you're suturing, you go through the flap, then through the interproximal area. Then when you come back through, you go through the tissue on the palate. So we've anesthetized the uh, greater palatine nerve and the nasopalatine nerve, so they're not going to feel it when you take this, the needle through the tissue on the palate. So this suture is anchored by the palatal soft tissue. So I do two or three wraps away, then a wrap toward me, then a wrap away. So one, two, or one, two, three away, one toward me, and another one away. I've not found a fast way to suture. Just take some time. We're going through the flap, then I'm going to move the needle through the interproximal area to the palatal side. I'm not trying to engage the tissue on the palate. Now I'm going to engage the palatal tissue when I come back through, and this is where we anchor the flap on the palatal tissue. And we've left the palatal aspect of the papilla. We've not removed that. We've made a cut through here and removed this part. We've left the palatal part of the soft tissue in the papilla. I'm always rinsing my needle holder with water. You don't want any dried blood on your needle holder or it will, it will prevent you from sliding the suture over the metal. Again, I'm not, you can see I'm not engaging that tissue on the palatal when I move the needle from the facial to the palatal. Now I'm engaging the palatal tissue. I'd like to do three wraps, then one wrap toward me, then one wrap away. Uh, sometimes I just use two, but it's, it's better if you can do three wraps away, one wrap toward you, and then one wrap away. Very important that you've anesthetized the nasopalatine and the greater palatine nerves. So these are all interrupted individual sutures. I don't want a mattress suture or any long suture because if it broke, then you've got a, you've lost all your suture. You you want to do interrupted suture, individual suture, when you're doing periodontal crown lengthening, in my opinion. So you can see the new gingival line developing. You're exposing the entire coronal part of the tooth from the incisal edge to the CEJ, and then the alveolar crest should be about three plus millimeters from the new gingival line to the alveolar crest. So you're removing soft tissue and bone if you do a proper crown lengthening. It's not just gingivectomy. I see so many cases that a patient thinks they've had a, have had a periodontal crown lengthening. Somebody just took a electrosurge and just removed some gingival tissue. Well, that tissue is going to grow back if you do that. There, it's going to reestablish the biologic width, which is three plus millimeters the new gingival line is going to be three plus millimeters from the alveolar crest. So you've got to reestablish the alveolar crest three millimeters from the CEJ 
which is where you're placing your new gingival line. That's the dental minute. These techniques work and they work every time. Are you feeling stuck? You know you have more to offer and you can elevate higher in your dentistry practice, but you just don't know how to do it. Well, great news. DentistryMasterclasses.com is here for you. At DentistryMasterclasses.com, Dr. Kupperth is offering his greatest work and his best cases. Here's everything included when you subscribe to DentistryMasterclasses.com. You will get incredible comprehensive cases not seen in Dental Minute videos, an organized library of all the Dental Minute videos, and the Dentistry Masterclasses, comprehensive cases for study and reference. You will get before and after pictures of Dr. Cutper's fantastic restored cases. And guess what? All of this is 40 bucks a month. That's right, 40 bucks a month. This is an opportunity you cannot miss. Go to DentistryMasterclasses.com and subscribe today.